Starting at the top with the position box selected, so left click on it, I can now click and hold down on my model and use this to move it around. If I move it somewhere else on the plate and click slice, we see that it doesn't really affect the time. Sometimes it can change the time a little, especially if you have a bunch of models and they're positioned in different places on the plate. But otherwise, moving a model around doesn't really affect print time. I can also change the position by actually typing in x, y, and z coordinates. I can also click and hold on one of these colored arrows to move the model just in that axis. So this can be helpful if you need to make adjustments just along one axis. If I actually click on the blue arrow and kind of move it down so part of it's below the plate and then click slice, you see that now it takes a lot less time to print and the reason is if we look at preview it's now actually only printing that top part of the model that's above the plate so it's no longer printing my whole model. If I try to pull and drag it up so it's floating above the plate it'll automatically bump it down because it needs to start printing on the plate. Now if I move this Fox model outside this imaginary light gray boundary of the printer you see that the whole model turns striped and if I try to click slice it says unable to slice. A striped model means that there's something wrong and you need to fix it, otherwise the printer will not be able to print it. In this case, it's because part of it is actually sitting outside of the 3D printer's printing space. Finally, if I move the model to a place that I like and click lock model, I prevent myself from accidentally moving it.